Hey everybody, it's Moonbow here, and welcome back to more... Are those bikes smooching right now? Anyway, welcome back to some more Endless Scrap Mechanic. In today's video, we are going to be checking out the finished Ford Raptor. It is a really cool truck. I made it during a stream a couple weeks ago. Uh, so I've completed the build. I've got a couple trailers here that we are going to check out. Obviously, we're also going to check out the truck. We've got the trailer here with the dirt bikes that I made, as well as a trailer over there on the left with a modified one for the jet skis. Uh, so really cool stuff here, and we're also going to build a new trailer as well for another build, which I started on the weekend during a live stream as well. Uh, so that's going to be a trailer for a boat. Uh, so it's going to be a lot of fun to build that one, so I'm really excited to get on with this video. So how about we do that? Alright, so this is the Ford Raptor without any trailer on it. As you can see, it looks really cool. I'm really happy with the way the front turned out. We can kind of take a little bit of a step back here to see it a little better, because it is relatively big, but I mean, that's just how all my cars go. I'm really happy with the overall design, though. Building it during the stream and getting all of your guys' feedback is definitely a huge help as well. So here we go, you can see in the back here in the truck bed, it's using the, like, diamond-plated steel here. Uh, really cool. Uh, not much room back here because it is kind of like an extended cab version, I guess you could say. You can actually hop right into the window here and get a bit of an idea of what it looks like. I mean, it is relatively simple on the inside here, but that's because, you know, we got the trailers in the back and stuff, so we don't want it to lag too much. So here is a nice view of it, of course, while we are sitting in the seat. We can drive it around, no problem. I'm really happy with the way the truck handles. It has a great gl uh, ground clearance here, so there's really not much that'll get in your way. So it's a lot of fun. I should mention as well, you can see I actually have the water here, and that was mainly just for my thumbnail. Uh-oh, <laughs> it looks like we're sinking underwater here. All right, there we go. So as you can see, though, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun to drive. It's really easy to drive as well. Uh, so obviously I have the two trailers that we can add to it. So how about we get back up there and spawn it with the trailer? All right, so here's the Ford Raptor spawned with the really cool trailer on the back here. I use this trailer to store the dirt bikes as well as the four-wheeler, so we can bop this down right here, and you can see this is just a simple ramp that leads you up into the trailer here. I used some of the vanilla fencing on the sides here, actually, just to kind of make it look a little more like a trailer. Uh, so we can actually pop that right back up, and we are going to just kind of pull ahead a little bit here so we can line these uh, motorcycles up. So let's kind of pull away and get maybe... I guess we're not going to have much luck here lining this up more, are we? Oh, no, there we go. Okay. All right, so line this up. I guess that's good enough right there. It's all right. Uh, we can easily hop out of the truck like that right out the window. And we will bring the ramp down, and I guess we'll start with this green one right here. So we can easily get on this dirt bike, which is actually a lot of fun. I really do love this build. Oh, boy, this is, this is not going too good here. All right, let me just back this up. It does handle pretty easily, honestly. Alright, there we go. So now we have lined ourselves up. We can easily get up this ramp right here. And I'm actually only going to put the one dirt bike in for the video because as soon as you put two of them in, it gets so laggy. So it's worth a good screenshot and it's also good for like an intro, but as soon as you try and walk around, it's no fun. Alright, so there we go. We have that single dirt bike loaded in. We can very easily drive around here. I mean, clearly right now we are not in a very dirt bike friendly area. Uh, but I mean, you should definitely check out the dirt bike video if you haven't already. You can see those things in action. Ooh, that was a nice little maneuver. So there you go. So that is the first trailer. You know what? I actually haven't even put the four-wheeler in yet. I want to try that. Alright, so I've got the four-wheeler spawned right there. We can bring the ramp down again. I I really like this four-wheeler, actually. Alright, so we can spin it around, and it should go up no problem. Maybe turn the thrusters on. There we go. Oh, this looks really cool, and it's like the black on black, so it's really cool looking. So we got the four-wheeler in there. Let's see how that handles, actually. Uh oh I'm stuck. There we go. Alright, so four-wheeler is in the box. We can drive around here. Let's, uh, Let's take this thing underwater again, just to get a little bit more of a driving experience. There we go. So the four-wheeler, underwater, definitely works like a charm. You know what, let's just go a little bit a little bit deeper, even though we're at the top of a mountain here. <laughs> Alright, there we go. So the four-wheeler stays in there pretty good. It's zero lag, so 
I, I think this is a great creation. I'm really happy when a creation doesn't generate any lag when you're using, like, the interactive kind of portion of a build. So let's just turn this thing around again. We're gonna do a little bit of a slip and slide, I think, to get back up here. Uh, so I'm really happy with this original trailer. So of course, though, guys, I did design a second trailer, which is for the jet skis. So we are gonna make our way right back up the mountain here, and we are gonna spawn that one. Alright, so here is the original Ford Raptor spawned with my jet ski trailer. So this is a pretty funny trailer, actually, because I had no idea how I was going to get the jet skis on here. Now, of course, you can try hovering them up and onto it, but I was trying to do that, and it was taking me a while. So what I ended up doing was welding them to this kind of T-post right here. So it is kind of unfortunate because I didn't want to make the trailer too wide. Uh, so you can see that the jet ski does kind of hang out a little bit on either side, which is not a big deal, but the reason why I had had to make them so wide was because there's this little thruster here and this little one on the other side there and unfortunately because these thrusters have so many like like spawn points that you can put them on so they actually connect to each other and unfortunately those two become one with like an invisible joint so I ended up putting this t-bar here so obviously what you have to do is delete them so we will get rid of the t right there and the jet skis will fall down and we can delete that there and there we go we now have the two jet skis sitting in the back now what I did add though so that they don't slide out is you can actually press a button here and that will kind of just lock it in place there and on the right side here for the red one too. So now those are pretty well secured. They do look kind of funny. They do rest pretty well on these little kind of V's though that I put in uh, which is pretty true to like what a real jet ski trailer would look like. So let's hop in here and drive around with these and see how well they stay on. So they do stay on really well, actually. I just did like a hard stop right there. We can spin around really fast and they're not really, they're not moving very much, are they? We can probably spin them up. Look, they're, oh, okay, no, okay, I just lost one. So that's how you lose one. You have to take it off of a really big bump. <laughs> but I mean, that's pretty realistic. I mean, normally you'd probably tie that down, but there's no ropes or anything in this game. So unfortunately, we have to kind of make do. So I don't know what I'm doing right now. How about we bring this down to the water, which is actually why I brought this in the game. Get out of here, motorcycle. Get out of the way. Come on now. All right. No, it's not getting out of the way. Ah, there we go. All right. So now we can try and bring this jet ski to the water. Uh, it's relatively realistic when you're trying to back things up as well, because these kind of things tend to jackknife pretty easily. So let's just take it easy here and turn the wheels very slightly. Okay, easy. There we go, straighten it out a little bit and just kind of ease it right back to the water. Alright, so once you get out of a seat though, that is kind of like engaging the parking brake there, but obviously it's pretty heavy so it's very slowly sliding down. Now what we can do of course is hop into the jet ski. Now I don't know, I'm not sure how well it takes off of the trailer, so we can try this out though. We'll press the one key and that's pretty much I think how we are gonna get out of there. Perfect. That is definitely the safest place to be right now. One thing I should mention about these jet skis, of course, is that they really only work on flat land. So if the ground isn't flat, like in this case here, we have a very long and winding downward slope, the jet ski's not gonna work. So I highly suggest if you do use these jet skis that you use them in a flat land or you put some type of surface down so that way they can pick it up and they don't do all the crazy bits. All right, so let's pull this trailer back out of the water here. We are gonna make our way back up to the top of this very isolated mountain. I think it's the only mountain that survived the great flood in this situation. <laughs> So, we are gonna make a third trailer in this video, so what I do, of course, is I delete the block right here, and so that way we have a four long suspension piece there, which is part of the mod pack that I'm using, which is, of course, the best one in the game, the Durf mod pack. Uh, so, let's do a boat trailer. So, obviously, I have been starting a yacht there, and we are gonna do a boat trailer for that yacht. Uh, so, how about I set myself up and we get on the go. Alright, so I just spawned into my yacht world to go and retrieve this build, and look, I don't know what has happened to it, but it is looking rather shiny. I'm not too sure what happened here, so I'm going to try and save it though, and bring it into the other world, and hopefully it's not going to be so blinding. 
Alright, so I got the hover yacht here ready to go for sizing. We've got the truck set up right here and my inventory is good to go, so let's get building. Alright, so there it is guys, that is the boat trailer, so it was actually a little trickier than I was really expecting it to be. So actually, let's uh, drop that back down. So I've noticed the easiest way to get it onto the truck is to put the truck on a lift, and then you bring the truck down and you pick the boat up. And so basically the, the truck is aligned on the grid now, so now we can easily just line up the boat here. I think it's somewhere around right here is the best spot right there I believe and now we can drop it down and there we go the boat is now in its resting spot there we go so we can come to the back here and press this button which will raise those arms up and that just kind of pushes it up a little bit as well as secures it in place uh, so it's definitely a really cool little trailer now of course though this boat is not quite finished yet, I still want to rework it a little bit so I might need to change this trailer once the boat is worked on a bit more. Uh, but until then, this is certainly going to make do. Look at that, we don't even really need to increase the suspension down here or anything. I think maybe if we pop it up to a, like a 5, like that, it should be pretty good. I noticed it kind of bugging out a little bit there. So. Let's take this thing for a spin though, this thing is, this is the best part, is driving around with a huge yacht in the back here on this really long trailer. So we are going to try our best here, we're going to obviously have to go underwater, but that's alright. We'll pretend that everything here is made for that. Alright, so avoid that extremely laggy dancing dirt bike. There we go, so we are now on our way to the depths of the flood zone here, so let's be, let's be very careful try our best here to uh, bring this boat down the mountain safely. Wow, this is actually working extremely well. Look at how secured that boat is. Uh oh, okay, it, it kind of pushed me there. It, it does carry a lot of momentum. 
All right, so let's make our way this way here, bringing the boat here. I still haven't decided a name here for the boat yet, actually, which is kind of funny. All right, there we go. This trailer, you can really feel the weight pulling you. It's amazing. And of course, the engines on this truck are maxed out. There we go. Boat is still there. Uh-oh, I should probably be paying attention to where I'm going, but I guess I'm kind of pushing the limits here. You know what? That looks like a very fun attempt to drive here. So let's, uh, let's move the trailer. Oh man, this is so much fun to do. Okay, let's be careful here. All right, so the trailer is good to go. Let's try our best to maneuver our way down this extremely narrow slope here. All right, taking our time. Bringing the boat. Oh no! Oh no! I didn't do it. I couldn't do it. What? Oh my... What? The boat? Oh, the boat is still on there. Can you believe that? The boat didn't even fall off and I didn't even flip. Oh man, that just... Wow, I can't believe that just happened. Alright, let's uh, bring it through the cucumber patch here. Alright, look at that. This boat is hanging on for dear life. We are cruising as fast as we can right now. I'm thinking of adding some thrusters to this build just to kind of add that much more towing capacity. But as you can see, it's got no issues towing this boat around. It had obviously no issues with those dirt bikes and the sea dews I mean, aside from the fact that if you bounce around, they'll kind of pop out. That's pretty good, too. So that is going to be the video for today, guys. I had a lot of fun showing you guys this truck with a few different trailers. We even made this really cool boat trailer here that is extremely impressive, incidentally. Uh, so of course, guys, I want to take this moment to thank you all for tuning in to Endless Scrap Mechanics. So ooh, if you did enjoy the build or enjoy the video, then make sure you hit that like button. It'll let me know you guys are ready for more Endless Scrap Mechanic. And if you aren't already subscribed for that Endless Scrap Mechanic, then I suggest you do that as well, because that's what we got going on here on the channel. So, of course, guys, it's been a pleasure. Thanks so much for tuning in, and I will be seeing you guys in the next one. So, bye for now.